<laughs> no. Oh, you'd like him to coach him? Okay. He hides back there. So you can go grab him. What do you need him for? Huh? Really?
So more specifically, with the gallery, uh, my partner, Annika Sturdivant, has been a huge help. Annika, thank you. And I'd also like to thank our gallery um, assistants, the students, Donnie and Yoni Papanikolaou, uh, Rachel Bass, um, Leila Mazagi, and Jackie Sanabria. Uh, they've been a great help, and we're losing one of them. Fortunately, unfortunately, Donnie, who is graduating this semester, will not be with us. So Donnie, thank you again for all of your help. So finally, before I turn it over to other people who would like to speak, I would like to congratulate the 13 students who are part of the Senior Project Exhibition this year. You've done a wonderful job. I've seen all the hard work. I can't believe the variety of the work and um, the thought that's gone into it. So everyone, thank you so much. I appreciate all the work you put into the exhibition. Round of applause for those students. So we're lucky enough to have the uh, Dean of the College of Arts and Sciences with us tonight, uh, Dr. Robert Gregerson. If I could please invite you to come to the microphone and say a few words. Thank you. Uh, thank you, John. I appreciate it. Uh, let's not be brief. I just want to say to students, uh, I've, I've come to the senior show in the fall, the ceramic show that just opened in the art lab a couple of weeks ago. Uh, an alumni show uh, a few weeks ago and various uh, other displays and exhibits and I have to tell you that I am just amazed at the quality of the work that our students are producing. What I see in there, the diversity of uh, media that are being used, the forms, uh, it's just the quality, the skill is, is just amazing to me. And I know just like any other enterprise or discipline, that doesn't just happen. There's an amazing amount of hard work that has gone into all the, all the things that, that you all done, have done, student artists, and the mentoring that you have received uh, from your faculty as you've grown as artists, as students, and as uh, people. So I just want to take the time to say congratulations, and we all look forward to years and years and years of amazing work by all of you. So congratulations. So we have a very hardworking faculty, but one person in particular has not only, like I said, curated the exhibition in the art lab, but she's also been the faculty mentor for senior projects. At this point, I'd like to welcome Trisha Fick. Um, thank you all so much for coming out. It is just amazing to see so many people here, family members, community members, our current students, our amazing alumni students, our faculty, our staff. It's just, this is very much a community in this building and that is how we produce such wonderful stuff is we all work together to support folks like this group of 13 over here. Um, and uh, they will be speaking to you and encouraging you to see insights in their work that perhaps you haven't noticed just yet. Um, as has been mentioned already, it's a very diverse group of work, and I think that we pride ourselves on that. Our purpose um, as faculty is to encourage the students to develop their own unique voice, that their work as they are graduating, as they're coming out of our program, is entirely theirs. Um, and it explores ideas and concepts that um, can only happen inside their heads and can only be manifested uh, with their hands um, and the tools that they use. So um, just to highlight some of the sort of diverse things that are going on in that gallery, uh, the work spans time in all kinds of ways from medieval healing gardens and Victorian fashion extremes to hip hop, video games, and even the contemporary legal specifications for handicapped parking spaces. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, in terms of art influences, Aboriginal dot painting, Mexican ceramics, Ecuadorian Baroque churches, and the French surrealist practice of automatic drawing. Um, the natural world, always a very strong influence for so many artists. Um, here we have reflections on the human body, on stages of insect development, um, and the repurposing of found materials like fallen sticks and plastic that is washed up on the beach. So each of these students has really come at their senior project in their own way. My job is just to steer <laughs> and to, uh, to get the train right here, 
right now to this point in time, where the work is up on the wall and it is time to celebrate. So each one of them is going to very briefly tell you a few things about their work so that you can go back in and, uh, and explore the work further. So um, there are 13 of them. They are all lined up and ready to go. So I'm going to start with Maria Epic.
So I created my own record label, and Dirty Dust is the combination of my two greatest loves to form to bring my dream to reality. Uh, so go check it out. If you have any questions, let me know. And before I get out of here, I would just like to thank you all for coming out tonight. And I would like to uh, give a couple of special thank yous to my professor, Mike Salmon. Uh, he has really helped. He has really helped push me and develop my design skills, as well as really helped develop the design culture here on campus. I'd also like to thank my mom, my dad, and my family for always being there for me and supporting me no matter what. I would really like to thank my friends for helping with my project and really keeping me sane these last few months. Thank you all so much. I love you and appreciate you and everything they've done for me. Thank you and have a great night. Hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Grayson Stop. Uh, uh, I just want to thank you guys for coming tonight. My uh, my exposition is going up, down, and sideways. It's the one with all the sticks in there. I'm sure you guys may have seen. Um, uh, I just gotta say, it's been a hell of a semester, um, and I feel really blessed to be here right now in front of you guys. Um, uh, my project really sort of incorporates my love of the natural world um, along with all the support and help that I've gotten from everyone, all of my loved ones, even not so loved ones, um, that have helped us uh, grow and shape into the people that we are today. Um, it's just been uh, a real blessing to be here. I've learned a lot this semester. Um, I just want to go ahead and thank a few people. Um, of course, my parents who have come out here to support me, and they've always supported me throughout um, all of my artistic endeavors. Um, of course, my lovely fiance, who's also been putting up with me the last semester uh, with all the craziness. Uh, and then, of course, uh, our professors, our fearless leader, Trisha, uh, who's helped keep us organized. And then, of course, uh, Andy Owen and Mary Wojtek have always been big supporters. And Andy Morris, he's always been there to help us with all of our problems. So um, I just want to thank you guys and all of you who've come out here tonight and uh, enjoy the show. Donnie Papa Nicolau. Uh, my exhibit is called Your Diamond Abroad, which is Hebrew for uh, talking hands. Um, so my exhibit is about the hand and how it is the closest component to the brain, making it like our minds, uh, reporting its history, skills, uh, memory, stories. Um, so I use storytelling as a method uh, in which uh, art articulation and words is not really required, rather displays of line, color, and design to animate these narratives that I'm showing. Um, so I explore these narratives through a variety of pictorial pattern work uh, inspired and influenced through a variety of different cultures that you know set the overtone of the emotion for my pieces. So while the wall pieces that you may see in there, uh, they pick the history and memory and the story of each hand that is on the piece. The floor sculptures, they depict the uh, symbolization of the continuous uncertainty of my personal states of being. Um, so tonight I want to thank my uh, uh, faculty here, Mary, Andy, and all the other faculty members I've taken uh, while here throughout my studies. I'd like to thank my friends for support, Annika and John, for a beautiful year and a half of working in the gallery. Uh, I'd also like to thank my parents, my mom and dad, for their strength and wisdom, and my brother for his friendship and encouragement, who's actually graduating with me this year. Um, I'd also like to thank my, uh, my little sister over here, who's my inspiration and love. Uh, so thank you guys. Enjoy the night.
I want I want to disband the need for people to change um, who they are with the idea that being different is wrong. And tonight I wanted to thank um, my my parents for dealing with the epic mess I've made at home trying to make this project. <laughs> Um, and all the faculty that helped me this semester.
floor to ceiling, that's mine. <laughs> like, there's just, all of it has to do with um, what's going on right now. I wanted to focus on, you know, what's happening underwater that we can't see. And, you know, it, it's, it's something that's very personal to me. It's a huge issue. And um, my father, who passed away last year, uh, had a love for the ocean, and it's why I started that journey, and um, I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, I want to thank my mom, my husband, <laughs> who's been very patient, uh, my sister, uh, Mary Boytek, and Andy Owen, because they stuck by me, and that's damn it why I'm here, so I'm very thankful <laughs> for that. Um, and my dad, because he's the inspiration for it all. Thank you. everyone tonight. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> All right, I'm Renee Grossman, and my piece is titled Between Two Worlds in Which I Settle. Um, I use the inspiration from 19th century poster design and my love for writing to uh, create a world that I see through my thoughts and how I connect my artwork with my words and images. Um, it's also a form of automatic writing and drawing, so it's just a free-flowing form of what I perceive and how I perceive the world around us. And I'd like to give a special thanks to all my friends and family who've helped me through all of my art and um, through being here, and all the faculty for you know assisting me through this long journey. And I hope everyone enjoys it. Thank you. I'm Robert Fuentes, and I made the video game, uh, The Boo Brothers in Uncanny Valley. And I've always loved video games ever since I was little, so I decided I'd give it a try. Um, the two characters are based on the personalities of me and my brother, who, my brother is the fearless leader who jumps into any situation without thinking about it, and I'm the more timid, tech-savvy person who is constantly thinking about the problem before I do anything. Um, the, the game is a smaller part of a story where the Ubrothers brothers go into an abandoned amusement park looking for ghosts to capture with their camera, and it has different sections with carnival and a zoo and the haunted mansion, which you'll be able to test out. Um, I'd like to thank my girlfriend, of course, and my family, who have always been there and supported me no matter what I decide to do. And um, so yeah, it's in the back corner, and go give it a try. Thanks so much. out here to practice those talks and they couldn't do that at all. 